ating uh, analysis sa dalawang quantitative data sets ay ang pagbuo ng ating LSRL or ng least square regression line. Ang least square regression line ay ang linear model na pwede natin gamitin sa pag-predict ng outcome given the value of x. Ito yung formula or model na gagamitin natin sa pag-predict ng outcome using two quantitative data set. Ito yung y equals a plus bx. So pwede natin sabihin na ang formula na to ang gagamitin natin para makapag-predict ng value ng y given the value of x. Sa statistics, yung ating variable na b ang tinatawag nating slope ng linear model na kung saan ito yung amount by which y is predicted to change when x increases by 1 unit. At yung a naman natin dito ay yung y-intercept na kung ating i-interpret sa ating linear model, ito yung predicted value of y natin when x is equal to 0. Now, dito sa example natin na ito, meron tayong dalawang quantitative data sets. Ang explanatory variable natin dito will be the shoe size ng mga men at nakapag-collect tayo ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 mga kalalakihan at kinuha natin yung kanilang shoe size at saka yung kanilang height. And using this data set, pwede tayong makabuo ng linear model or ng formula, formula na pwede makapag-predict ng height ng isang lalaki given their shoe size. So, ito yung formula na ginamit natin sa pag-predict ng outcome. We have y hat equals a plus bx, wherein a is your y-intercept at yung b ang ating slope. At dito sa ating linear model na to, yung variable x natin will be yung shoe size or yung explanatory variable at yung y hat natin will be our predicted height o yung predicted height ng isang lalaki given his shoe size. Now, since meron tayo ngayon yung linear model na ito, y hat is equal to 53.24, which is our y-intercept, at 1.65, which is our slope, kapag ka sinagot natin itong word problem na to na kung saan tinatanong kung ano daw yung predicted height ni Sam kung ang kanyang shoe size ay 9.5. And using this linear model, base dito sa ating mga data set, ang kanyang predicted height given the shoe size of 9.5 will be 68.92 inches. So, based on the linear model, Sam is expected to be about 69 inches tall given his shoe size is 9.5. So, yan yung isa sa mga kahalagahan ng linear model sa pag-analyze uh, ng ating dalawang quantitative data sets. Now, ang tanong dito is paano natin makukuha yung A at yung value ng B mathematically para makabuo tayo ng linear model. Kinakailangan natin gumamit ng technology or ng TI-84 para makuha natin yung value ng A and B. At ipapakita ko sa inyo ngayon kung paano kunin yung A and B using TI-84. Dito sa example na ito, gagamitin natin yung uh, previous data sets na ginamit natin na kung saan yung mga football players ay eh, ginamit natin yung kanilang number of or average points per game at yung number of wins nila para mag-analyze ng ating scatter plot. At gagamitin natin yan as, as our EV and RV wherein yung points per game yung ating EV at yung number of wins will be our RV. Now kung gagamitin natin ang calculator natin, ilalagay natin sa list yung mga data set na nakukuha natin. Yung EV will be our list 1, which is points per game, at yung RV, which is our list 2, will be the number of wins. So we'll go to our calculator, go to stat, go to edit, at ilalagay nyo ngayon sa list 1 yung ating explanatory variable or the number of points or average number of points, at yung list number 2 will be the um, number of wins doon sa ating data set. Now, sa pagkuha ng A and B or value ng A and B, pupunta lang kayo sa stat and then go to calc at press 8 which is yung linear model natin na y equals a plus bx. So, pwede kayong gumamit ng cursor. So, pwede nyo hanapin si number 8. And then push enter.
at kailangan nyo lang ilagay yung list 1 at saka yung list 2 dun sa atin linear regression. So, second function, 1, comma, second function, 2, para sa ating explanatory variable. And when you push enter, makikita nyo na yung value ng A at ng value ng B na kung saan yung A yung ating y-intercept at yung B yung ating slope. Ito na ngayon yung ating linear model base dun sa ating A and B value na nakuha dun sa calculator na kung saan yung ating explanatory variable or yung ating list 1 will be the average number of points scored per game at yung ating response variable will be the number of fields for each of the 12 teams. Now kung gagamitin na natin yung formula na y hat equals a plus b x x, yung ating predicted number of wins, which is our response variable, is equal to a plus b x, na kung saan yung x is yung number of points. So ito ngayon yung tinatawag nating linear model na makakapag-predict ng number of wins base dun sa ating average number of points doon sa ating mga laro. So, Gamit ng calculator, pwede tayo makabuo ng linear model para makapag-predict ng outcome. Now, paano naman natin i-interpret yung ating slope value at saka yung ating, I mean, yung ating y-intercept value at yung ating slope value in terms of the problem? Yung slope natin, dun sa nakita natin kaninang interpretation o yung definition ng slope, gagamitin lang natin yun para ma-interpret natin yung slope ng ating linear model. So, for this particular problem, for every increase of average number of points scored per game, the team's predicted number of wins is increasing by 0.4372. So ito yung ating interpretation ng ating slope. At ang interpretation naman ng ating y-intercept base dun sa ating word problem would be that there's no recorded or if there's no recorded score in a game, then the predicted number of wins would be negative 3.7506. Which of course doesn't make sense kasi hindi naman tayo magkakaroon ng negative value para sa number of wins. Pero yan yung pag-interpret ng ating y-intercept at ng slope dun sa ating linear model.